Om Shanti. Today is 30 August 2022. Morning Murli Om Shanti. Bab Dada Madhuban. Essence. Sweet children, you now have to become lighthouses. In one eye, you have the land of liberation, and in the other, the land of liberation in life. Continue to show everyone the path. Question. What is the way to accumulate an account of an imperishable status? Answer: Constantly spin the discus of self-realization in your intellect while moving around. Remember your land of peace and your land of happiness. Then, on the one hand, your sins will be absolved, and on the other hand, your account of an imperishable status will accumulate. The father says, "If you want to become a lighthouse, have the land of peace in one eye and the land of happiness in the other eye." Song: Awaken, O brides, awaken! The new age is about to come. Om Shanti. You sweetest children heard the sweet song, but the singers must be from the film world. Whatever they sing about, whether it is knowledge. It is or God. It is all wrong. This is called an upside down world. Allah, God sits and explains that you were dangling on the gallows of Maya. Maya has made all the children dangle upside down. The father comes and makes the children sit the right way up. The song is very beautiful. Who is saying awaken? O oh, brides, awaken! No one can say to the brides of the whole world, "Awaken, O oh, brides! The new age is about to come." There cannot be a single human being in the world who knows this. Maya is such that no matter how much you explain to them, they do not understand. You children know that the new age and the new kingdom of deities are now being established. You also understand that the golden age definitely has to come after the iron age. This proves that God has to come for the devotees. Devotees have the desire to meet God, so it has to be understood that God will definitely come for half the cycle. Devotees have been desperate to meet God, and so God must give something in return. The devotees know that God grants liberation in life. Only that purifier will purify everyone. Your children have come to know when it is that all souls become pure. You remain pure in the golden age when all other souls are living in the land of beyond sound. You go into the pure age. There is no age in the land of nirvan that is beyond these ages. Such things are in the intellects of you children. We definitely reside in the supreme abode. The ages are here. The terms golden age and silver age are used here. Destruction too is remembered. They also show the trimurti symbol of the Indian government. Underneath the trimurti, they write victory in truth. This is the spiritual government. The non-violent Shakti army is also remembered, but only in name. You should also have a coat of arms. You can ride underneath the picture of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shankar. With pray in truth, it should enter the intellects of your children that we are the children of the Pandav government. Others consider themselves to be children. So it should enter your intellects how to create the coat of arms. This is the world of blind faith. Whatever they see, they say it is God. So that is blind faith, is it not? People say that God is in every particle. In fact, all human beings have their individual parts to play. A soul adopts a body and plays his part. It cannot be said that everyone is God. Does that mean that God is someone who fights and quarrels? That is hundred percent blind faith. When a new building is built, it is said that it is hundred percent new. An old one would be said to be hundred percent old. 
भारत वॉज न्यू बट द वर्ल्ड हैज नाउ बिकम ओल्ड देयर आर इन्यूमरेबल रिलीजन द कॉन्ट्रास्ट इज लाइक दैट ऑफ डे एंड नाइट श्योरली देयर वॉज नथिंग बट हैपीनेस इन द गोल्डन इज वेयर द डीट इज रूल्ड द किंगडम नाउ इन दिस वर्ल्ड देयर इज नथिंग बट सोरो You will see as you go further how much sorrow there will be. It is said that there is death for the prey and joy for the hunter. They have simply written this, but they don't understand anything. No one has mercy when killing another human being. The police can file a case against anyone who does something like that. Look how they kill one another by inventing bombs, etc. Every day they write that so many have died in such and such a place. It doesn't enter anyone's intellect to file a case against them. You now understand that this is an old sinful world. The golden age is a new world. No one causes sorrow for anyone in the golden and silver ages. The very name is the golden age, having paradise. People also study this in history. There are limitless wealth there which was looted from the temples how well the those who built the temples would have been they show golden dwarka they say that it sank beneath the sea you understand how this cycle of drama rotates the golden age goes below and the iron age comes up this cycle continues to rotate you also have the knowledge of the cycle Many people come up with the idea of a cycle but they don't know its duration no one can tell you about the real cycle the whole cycle is in your intellects this is why it is said continue to spin the discus of self realization and your sins will be absolved these are matters of knowledge you understand that when you spin the discus of self realization on the one hand your sins are absolved and on the other hand the account of your imperishable status accumulates even then some say we forget to spin the discus of self realization the father says you have to become light houses a light house shows the way for others in one eye there is the land of peace and in the other eye there is the land of happiness you are now sitting in the land of sorrow you are light houses your mantra is man mana bhav and madhya ji bhav the land of peace and the land of happiness you show the path to others you continue to spin this cycle even while moving around let the land of peace and the land of happiness remain in your intellects when you are in such a stage it is then possible for others to have a vision in fact as soon as they become in front of you they can have a vision our work is here there is nothing to do there therefore you children should now practice this we are the lighthouses who show the path we are now in the land of sorrow this is easy to understand to be a lighthouse and to spin the discus of self realization are the same thing however there are details in this in spinning this discus of self realization there are two aspects the land of happiness and the land of peace alpha is the land of liberation and beta is the land of liberation in life it is very easy the place from where the souls come is the land of peace scientists and those who believe in nature will not understand these things but those who believe in the deities will it is very good to go to the lakshmi and narayan temples they were the masters of the golden age the land of happiness now it is the iron age the two were human beings it was the kingdom of lakshmi and narayan ask people have you ever listened to the gita those who go to a lakshmi and narayan temple or a radhe and krishna temple must also listen to the gita those who have love for krishna must also have love for the gita those who go to a lakshmi and narayan temple would not think about the gita as much they understand that lakshmi and narayan were in paradise now it is hell the father comes into hell he comes and establishes heaven 
The father says, remember me, remember the land of peace, remember the peace of happiness and your boat will go across. First, you definitely have to go home. Okay. If someone believes in Shri Krishna, tell him, Krishna was in the golden age. Remember that new world. Break all your connections with this old world. You definitely have to become pure. There is no one impure there. You should create some type of method. Children write, there is very little service to do here. It is very slack. The father says, there is slackness in the children. A great deal of service can be done. There are many temples. The father says, give knowledge to my devotees. You also used to be devotees. Now you are becoming the masters of the land of Shri Krishna. Remember the land of Krishna, paradise. The kingdom of Ram is not called paradise. Only the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan can be called paradise. When you explain, they will say it is right. There is a great deal of knowledge in these pictures. Those who look at these pictures with attention will instantly bow to them. They will not bow to you, but in fact they should bow to you because... You are going to become those. This is why the Brahmin plane is the most elevated. You make effort and become such deities. First, you are God's children. This period of time is praised. If people were sensible, they would celebrate the birthday of Lakshmi and Narayan. However, they don't know anything about it. They simply go to Lakshmi to ask her for wealth, but they should at least understand their horoscopes. They don't even know when they came. They show Vishnu with four arms, that is the combined form of Lakshmi and Narayan. They worship Lakshmi and Narayan, yet they don't know their life stories. What were they the masters of? They are not the masters of the subtle reason that is not called the land of Vishnu. There is no world in the subtle reason. The kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan is called a world. Then there is also the world of Ram and Sita. However, nothing else is shown about Radhe and Krishna. Those of Islam and the Buddhist come in the copper race. Therefore, your children have to explain in detail. People remember heaven. When someone important dies, they say that he has gone to paradise. So, surely he was in hell because this is why they say he has gone to heaven. At this time, all the impure residents of hell, they have so much intoxication. They show that they are millionaires. But all are residents of hell. The residents of hell bow their heads in front of the residents of heaven. Only your children can explain this accurately. You are the children of Jani Jananhar, the knower of all secrets. The details of the whole cycle keep spinning in your intellects. However, when you return home and see the faces of your relatives, you forget everything. This is why they have hostels in colleges. You also have a hostel here. Here you remain busy studying. Your intellects are not pulled by routine business. You talk to other students about things of knowledge. To stay in a hostel makes a lot of difference. You should come to the father quite often to be refreshed. Don't think you will have to give a donation in return. Such ones are considered to be foolish. Baba is the best over. Never have the thought that you are giving to Baba. Only serviceable children should come here to be refreshed. Your children come to Baba. It is not that you come to a Sage or a Mahatma and that you have to give a donation. Never have the thought that you have to give a donation. When daughters come, do they have money? They receive everything at their place of service. Those who want to make their fortune make effort. All others just make excuses. I have a job etc. You can get leave. You can make some excuse to get leave. That is not telling lies. There is no one as honest as Baba. However, children don't value the father that much. 
you receive such a huge treasure baba is not far away wherever you live you can come to be refreshed for your own progress by being refreshed you can also bring benefit to many you have to do service here there is the strength of the power of yoga whereas that is physical power here there are no weapons etc do not cause sorrow for anyone show everyone the path to happiness the contrast between the iron age and the golden age is like that of day and night Ravan's kingdom continues for half a cycle. Your children are going to establish the land of happiness. Never speak harshly. If you hear anything like that, you must not pay attention to it. If you listen to something like that, you too would then start to speak in that way. Even a trace of anger causes great damage. To get angry with someone means to cause him sorrow. The father says, if you cause anyone sorrow, you will die experiencing sorrow, and you will have to endure a great deal of punishment. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children, and the spiritual children says, Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharna number one: Have regard for the father and his study. Create methods to refresh yourself from time to time, and become an instrument to bring benefit to many. Number two: Only talk about things of knowledge among yourselves. Remove any trace of anger. If you hear anyone speaking harshly, just ignore it. Blessing. May you be a blessed image who gives blessings with the cool water of mercy to souls who are under an external influence. When someone who is burning in the fire of anger comes in front of you, consider that one to be under an external influence and bless him with the cool water of mercy. Do not sprinkle drops of oil on them. If you feel any anger towards anyone, it is like. sprinkling drops of oil on him therefore be a blessed image and give others the blessing of the power of tolerance when you fill yourself with this sanskar in your living from now you will then become an image that grants blessings through your non living form slogan stay in the pleasure of meeting god and the jamela of maya will finish Stay in the pleasure of meeting God, and the chamela of Maya will finish. Thank you, Baba. Om Shanti.